Okay, from oh, London, England, we have Hormona. Presenting for the company is Jasmine Tagesen, co-founder and COO, and Carolina Lofquist, co-founder and CEO. Welcome to the stage. Hi, I'm Jasmine, one of the co-founders of Hormona, and we're here to revolutionize women's health. This is Carolina, my co-founder and dear childhood friend. She went from having been a professional athlete to barely be able to walk the stairs without losing her breath. It took her five years and thousands of dollars to be diagnosed with hormonal imbalance, a process that was both extremely painful and very expensive. And she's not alone. Hormonal health sits at the center of women's health as every single woman is affected by our hormones. And 80% of us, that's 3.1 billion women, suffer from a hormone-related issue. By controlling the most essential body functions, our hormones play a key role for our health and affect us women on a daily basis throughout life. Our hormones are constantly changing and changing a lot. But who guides us through these massive hormonal changes? Who's there to tell us if a change is expected, normal, or abnormal? Today, no one. You wouldn't let a surgeon operate on you blindfolded, yet we are willing to let doctors make decisions on our hormonal health completely blind. Today's data on cyclical hormone levels unrelated to fertility and pregnancy isn't just thin on the ground, it barely exists. We found one study, one, that measured a woman's average hormone levels throughout the cycle where the goal wasn't to conceive. This is what we are on a mission to change. Hormona is creating the hormonal baseline that medicine will be working off of. We will change how we practice medicine and provide a much needed breakthrough in women's health, which until now has been pretty much understudied, underutilized and underfunded. You see, the problem with our hormones is that they change and they fluctuate constantly throughout the month. They need to be tested on specific days in order to be understood. Today's solution of drawing blood and waiting days for your test results is not a convenient or cost-efficient solution as you need multiple blood tests per cycle in order to discover and manage your individual hormone levels. That's why we exist. Hormona has invented a test that, combined with our mobile app, empowers women to understand their hormones from the comfort of our home. We have spent the last two years evaluating multiple testing methods, biomarkers, sample matrices, and antibodies to develop the most convenient, accurate, and affordable tests on the market. Together with our team of scientists, doctors, and nutritionists, we have nailed down the three most important female hormones to test in order to determine a woman's individual hormone pattern. Unlike other companies in the industry, our patent-pending non-invasive urine tests have completely removed the need for a lab. Without sacrificing quality, we have decreased the time it takes for you to get your test results from five days to 15 minutes, and also offering a five times cheaper product. By testing regularly, Hormona can with time help to confirm if you're going into menopause, will have problems getting pregnant, or pick up any hormonal changes that may impact your life. Essential information that all women should have access to. Move to demo, please. Based on each individual user's cycle, the unique hormona algorithm indicates the three testing days per cycle alongside which hormone to test. So, as you can see, today it is time for me to take my estrogen test. Let's click Start Test. On the, in the morning of your indicated testing day, you simply pee in a cup, you then dip your test into the cup, and the 15-minute timer will start. Since we don't have 15 minutes here today, we have prepared a second test. So, as soon as the timer goes off, you simply scan your test with your mobile camera, our app will analyze the biomarker, and then present you with a quantitative result. Back to presentation, please. The three quantitative test results per cycle allows women to see their unique hormone pattern and understand how symptoms connect to their hormone levels. 
They can also get tips on how to plan their life around their cycle and treatments based on their individual needs. It is the definition of an end-to-end -end solution. Regular testing and monitoring of these key hormones will enable better predictions and earlier detections of issues and conditions that are currently overlooked. If not now, well, when? The global women's health market is substantial, but it's desperately underserved, despite being part of everyday life for over 50% of the world's population. This market is a blue ocean that is currently completely untapped, making Hormona the first mover in everyday hormone health care. And the gender data gap isn't just a hole in research. It is having real-world effects on women's health right now. We have the unique opportunity to contribute to narrowing that gender data gap and improve health outcomes for women all over the planet. Every single woman you know is bound to interact with hormone issues at some point in her life, and it's time we stop ignoring that fact. So, if you're a woman tired of not understanding your own body and the constant changes, take control by signing up to Hormonas Beta right now. Feeling hormonal should be the start of a conversation, not the end. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anne, let's start with you. Thank you. That was a phenomenal presentation. Um, obviously, the more data you have, the more valuable something like this becomes. So what are some of the creative ideas that you have for customer acquisition for this app? I mean, I could talk a little bit about the data because you actually touched on a very important point. There is so little data in this field and we need to collect all that data. We're looking for ways that we can then further medical research. There are some studies done that our estrogen levels could be connected to even things like Alzheimer's, ovarian cancer, breast cancer. So if we can aid in earlier detection of some of those conditions, which we don't know that much about right now, that is such a great use of our data. And then in terms of user acquisition, um, you know, we have plenty of ways that we're looking at that. Currently, our beta is only organic users. We've got over 3,000 women in our beta. Um, but we're in discussions with partnerships, both in Europe and here, which are both employer benefits, insurance companies, other women's health companies, and things like that. Nisha. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hi. Great presentation. Hi. We love this space. We've invested in it. Um, so there are other tests like this on the market. Um, and so go to market is so important here. How many tests do you need a month to be a real user of this where you benefit from that data? And what is, what is your wedge? So the, the problem with hormonal health is there are so many different moments in a woman's life and you have to figure out who to target. Like, is your wedge menopause? Is it PCOS? Is it endo endometriosis? Talk to us more about how you get that first base of loyal customers. Yep. Um, Hormona really want to carve out this new space called hormonal health, where we can follow a woman from her first period all the way to her last. And as you mentioned, that will be everything from irregular cycles, PCOS, fertility, all the way to menopause. But what we have seen in our early adopters is that women that tend to relate to the 50 symptoms that are related to hormonal imbalances uses the app the most. Um, so that can be hair loss, gain weight, acne, brain fog, and so forth, and looking for treatment to their issues. Um, and then the second question was, in terms of other tests in the market, um, there are other tests in the market focusing on fertility, but we haven't really seen a company offering quantitative tests in the way that we are doing. What's the level of accuracy versus a blood test? Yeah, so we're currently matching the gold standard, which is an at-home blood test, um, and then we've got one more development phase before we're ready for to launch in the market. But all of our data is pointing at a match to match, which is great. Okay. And I think you also said, how many tests do you need to get value mm -hmm. out of this? You need three tests, that's the minimum baseline. So with those three tests. Three tests a month. Per month. Exactly. And you can, can reuse it? Is or you one only use test. it three times a month? Yeah. Use it three times a month. And on specific days, that's what's unique about our product. We really tell you, based on what your cycle length is and what your conditions are, we tell you when to test. Um, and we want you to test for a minimum of three months so that we know that you just didn't have an off month where you were extra stressed and, you know, your hormones were a bit off. So a minimum of three months, three tests per month, so it's not that overbearing. Great. Thanks. Mandela? 
Yeah, I had the same question as Nisha. Um, I was just thinking about my own lived experience of when I've been really act an active user on apps and it's really around ovulation and when I'm, you know, into, I'm hoping to get pregnant. And then once I get pregnant, I kind of put the app aside and I don't use it again. So same similar question of like, to someone like me who feels like I'm fairly healthy, knock on wood, what's the, is, are you making a pitch to me that even someone like me who feels like they're healthy needs this? And what's the pitch to me? Yeah, I mean, from the early adopters that we have so far, we've seen that women find it as important as track their calories or the steps. They want to keep track of their hormones to make sure that they're balanced all the time. So the pitch to you would probably, with our app and with our tests, you can make sure that your hormones are at the optimal level, but also get daily insight how to be the best version or live with your hormones, basically. Thank you. Great. Dave? Uh, thanks for doing what you do. Um, the uh, the P stick is that specific? You guys invented that, or you're licensing other technology? If you can talk a little bit about how long you've been working on that, because I mean, wow, I can see it's much easier than a blood test. Yeah, so we own all the IP of our test. We've spent the last two years developing it from scratch. Um, what's really unique about us is that it's quantitative, so it can match a blood test. It's not just a yes or a no. Um, but we, we own all the IP, we have pending patents on it, um, both here in the US and design patents as well. Great. Hello? Yeah, just curious for the women that are using the alternative method of doing the blood test, like how many women are actually doing that at home? Is there a percentage of, of women that's part of your research? The taking a home blood test? Yes. Um, so it's a good question. I think in general the system is a little bit broken because when it comes to testing your hormones, you actually need to test it on specific days in order to understand what's going on. Uh. And if you go to a doctor today, they test all your hormones on the same day. And that's one of the reasons why I started a company uh, due to the fact that I was suffering from hormonal imbalances for quite many years before I actually got a diagnosis. Um, so I would say today's solutions doesn't really work when it comes to hormonal health. You, you actually, t my follow-up question was touched <laughs> upon because my next question was gonna be, well then, where else are women doing it? And I would assume that it's some regular checkup, which is probably much further away than the cadence that's desired on your end to kind of provide the baseline and to identify anomalies quicker. Exactly, and I think, unfortunately, a lot of women feel dismissed by their doctors because you won't get these tests. Like you do one set of tests and it looks fine. And then there is no more investigation. But it, because you didn't test it on the right day, it doesn't right. necessarily make sense. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Give them a round of Great applause.